Okay, this will be a video chart on WAMUQ, Washington Mutual Incorporated, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, what we're looking at here is a 60-minute chart. So if this doesn't look quite familiar to you, uh, that is why. And real quick, what that means is instead of each one of these candlesticks representing a day's worth of price action, it just represents 60 minutes worth. Um, and the reason I want to do this is I think it does a little bit better job of showing what's been going on. Uh, exciting day again. You know, the price went all the way up here to almost 24 cents. Pretty crazy to think that uh, just, you know, a few weeks ago this thing was trading below 4 cents. And it's not like it's one of these low volume gainers where, you know, it comes up here and hits, uh, you know, makes a multiple 100% move on just, you know, $50,000 worth of volume. I mean, this is doing multiple, multiple millions of dollars worth. Uh, so to think that, you know, you could have put in $100,000 at 4 cents and could be easily getting out now is uh, pretty crazy. But anyways, I um, want to get things updated. This video is not going to be too long or anything. Uh, but the main question I got was, you know, is the chart, you know, done after today's kind of pullback? And, you know, I it just pulled back. It's still maintaining its key levels of support. Uh, the first one being the 17 cent level, uh, which it hit back here uh, a few days ago. You can see that uh, every time the price has tried to kind of go through it, the price has found support. And in fact, today got a nice little hammer candle right at this area of support. Uh, but even if this level doesn't hold, uh, then you still do have other moving averages. Uh, right here we have the 50 period swooping up here. Uh, so if this level weren't weren't uh, able to hold, then you know this would be the next key level of support that you want to see uh, the bulls be able to hold. Uh, but kind of my must hold level for this is going to be down here right around uh, the low nines. Uh, the reason I pick that is once again, if we go back through uh, the previous history of the chart, you can see that the bears multiple times try to push down through the nine cent level, but the bulls were very stubborn right along this level. And then after they eventually bounced the price, the new low became the tens and then so forth and so on. You can follow. So, um, you know, as long as the nine cent level can hold in the grand scheme of things, then, you know, this chart's going to remain fine because once again, let's think about it. If the price comes down here, bounces around this level before heading back up, this set of lows would be higher than you know where it was down here and then when we go to draw our trend line the overall trend would still be up so I know nobody would want to see it drop all the way down here but remember from the overall chart perspective you know the uptrend would still remain intact as long as this level holds and if you wanted to get really drastic we could say that you know as long as the 200 period moving average holds which is all the way down here uh, but you know nine cents you know if this move is going to remain strong uh, nine cents should really have no problem holding as support uh, resistance pretty easy the next um, big battle has got to get through this 23 and a half cent level and then from there on you know I'm sure I'll be back to update the chart if we can get some closes above this level up here so if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you haven't yet if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was WAMUQ. Thanks for listening.